you probably hear like that my breath is like the wave, the ocean wave that hits the beach. That is a very nice rhythm. Blow it to the back. You know, let's imagine that the portal is facing backwards. So when you pull it up, it just squirts into the back and you will get that feeling as if you're having angel wings behind you. And keep on breathing. So now while you're sucking the source love in, start spray painting the inside of your body like as if you were <laughs> a little chocolate bunny. You know, that get just have that chocolate coating. So just ah, suck that. Hello, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang, and I'm Wolfgang. My gift for you today is a very heavy duty breathwork guided meditation. Most likely, you never did breathe like that in your life. And if you sincerely follow along, you will get some very strong reactions. Many of you that are already have been watching my other meditations have reported uh, tingling and other strong positive energy flows with a feeling of lightness. And it amazes you maybe because you never experienced something like this in a guided meditation before. Well, this guided breath meditation will knock your socks off. So if you're feeble of health or mind or have high blood pressure or hysteria, please consult your physician, mental health care practitioner and probation officer before proceeding. So let us talk about some breath work now. So why, first of all, should you listen to Wolfgang about breath work? Well, as a teen, I could dive skin dive um, through a 50-yard um, Olympic-sized swimming pool. I also uh, once measured when 20 yards down. I mean, no bottles, just skin diving. So that's two atmospheres of extra pressure on your chest. And your chest cage gets compressed to about a quarter of the size. And that's quite extreme. So it takes some good breath work just to do this kind of stuff. But also... Um, taught kundalini yoga and tantric breathing i used breath work in hands on healing and others much much more i also um, used what was called um, rebirthing breath or holotropic breath there are two different types of breath um, i used those for hours on myself i got trained by people that got trained by leonard or and um it it's a very, very powerful breath, and we will be basing what I'm going to show you on this. Um, but in, if you want to be very exact, um, I will be using the message that was propagated by Dr. Stanislav Graf um, from Czechoslovakia, and his work was holotropic breath work. <clears throat> um, but um, let me just state here, I'm in no way in contact or associated or represent these groups. Um, but I'm taking these basic ideas and have incorporated them into my own style. So I'm very grateful for these people to pioneer these ideas. Um, very, very grateful. And I just wanted to give uh, credit here. So um, what we will be practicing is the uh, Stanislav um, Graf method, where you focus on a full inhale. Basically, you inhale so much that uh, not a, let's say, a cup of air would fit in there. That is probably ideal. <laughs> and you just inhale, and the exhale just happens automatically. And so to you do this for a long time, for a long time, yes, half an hour or more. And... What will happen, probably this will be quite intense for you. And many times you will go very spacey and just start to space out, going so-called unconscious. So it's um, generally considered an avoidance behavior. 
and you should just keep on breathing. So till you break through this kind of stupor or whatever other distraction is that sometimes you may get into mental arguments, you just get um, back to breathing and breathe through whatever keeps you stuck. <laughs> Keep on breathing. So I will remind you about this many times. That is the only problem if you do it by yourself, you know, to keep yourself on breathing, even through uh, tightness or whatever. <clears throat> so in a normal private session that I do with people on Skype, a high percentage of my clients start seeing colors, ghosts, and other energy beings because I'm raising their vibration in the session. So uh, with a raised vibration, you start perceiving more of the astral realm realities. So uh, many times you will experience just tingling. That's the most common symptoms in, in your hands, in your arms, or in your crowns, or other areas in your body. And that is always a good omen, signifying an increase of chi flow in that particular area. So it is always an auspicious omen. But then you also um, will feel emotions coming up sometimes, um, deep pain or joy or guilt. And this is all um, part of the clearing process. And um, even on a physical level, you may ex start to experience feelings of obstructions or pain. And let me just explain this. So consider yourself like a circuit board, and when you increase the voltage on a circuit board, the weak spots get hard. So in similar ways, um, when you infuse more chi, into your light body system through breath work, um, the dark spots in your aura start showing up. So dark spots can be traumatic emotions like fear or guilt or anger, yes, or just uh, an energetic tightness where the chi does not flow. And so, and this you may experience this when you you know do heavy breathing here in this meditation. Um, something like a tetany, it's called a tetany, can happen um, where your mouth kind of tends to puck up like a little chicken butt, mm -hmm. or where your hands also tighten up. They tend to tighten up like this. And your feet also, you know, they tend to be coming tight. And um, in general, um, assistants did use massage when this happened to release this tension. Um, personally, I find that uh, Tai Chi-like movements and just running the Chi out your hands or feet or even smiling in your face can alleviate this. So just a little tip. Um, in case I will have to remind you. And also, when you breathe, um, you should always hear the air flowing through your nostril. Uh, if you don't hear the air flowing through your nostril, you're not breathing strong enough. So this is really the prerequisite here for, you know, to make this really work intensely. And so with my work with clients, I use these kind of breath method um, when they're so full of trauma that they cannot get in touch with their high self. And so if you are a healer and you want to use this method that I'm showing you here on a client face to face, make sure that you do not pick up any dark chi released from your client. They're going to be clearing dark chi left and right. So smile all the time so nothing dark is attached to you. Put this bubble of protection around you. And I really strongly recommend to use the heavenly vacuum cleaner techniques or portals if you know how to operate them. I have a video on the heavenly vacuum cleaner. I use it for room clearing, but 
and clearing on person, one on one, um, in physical presence, it's really good. Um, I also um, use a conch shell. Um, so um, this is also very good when you are one on one to drive out um, dark chi and entities when you do the breath work if you are a practitioner. Also now, um, please, when you listen to a podcast, do not drive, you know, and follow along with the breath work. Um, not a good idea. You're going to get so spaced out. Um, it, it's going to be worse than being drunk. You're going to be so spaced out, so don't do it. Mm -hmm. Just do something else. Um, so also, you're going to be really super sensitive after the session. So I strongly recommend that you drink about a liter or a quart of water because you're going to be detoxing. And um, in, because you're so sensitive, I suggest that you take a bath or do a meditation afterwards or go into nature or just enjoy a sunset or just focus on beauty. Mm -hmm. yeah, but definitely avoid driving a car going to heavy metal concerts or to the supermarket or just be in a crowd of people especially stay away from negative people you don't want to blow it on them mm -hmm. and so before we go into the garden meditation please with all my days of work and decades of expertise that i put into this video with a second of your time and give me a thumbs up right now down below All right, and now close your eyes, relax, and you ask Absolute Source to please make sure that throughout the meditation and whatever also happens from this meditation is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. You just have to say your Amen or think your Amen. So you sign up for this. And we also ask that we use our time and energy in the most effective, efficient way here. Clearing a maximum resistances to love or we're clearing a maximum amount of trauma around love. Or whatever else is holding us back, our spiritual evolution. Of course, the judge of this is our own high self, our own soul. If you have any particular special request you like to clear with this energy, please state this now. And now I give for whatever I asked for. I asked, um, And now, just imagine that on the inhale you pull a lot of love from the Earth Goddess into your heart, through your feet, and through your root chakra. And on the exhale, you send your love back. And please smile, because smiling is always an expression of love. Deeply pull her love into you and Breathe all the way in and all the way out. Make sure there are no resistances in your feet. Use your breath like a leaf blower. And you probably hear like that my breath is like the wave, the ocean wave that hits the beach. That is a very nice rhythm. Very even and very strong. Smile. And now just focus on pulling in the love from the Earth Mother. 
into your home. And smile, the sweeter you smile, the sweeter the love is going to be that you're going to get. Just try frowning for a couple of breaths and see what happens, how much love you're going to get. Just try it. You don't have to believe, Wolfgang. Mm -hmm. And then back to smiling, compare that. Especially focus on your root chakra. You just imagine like you're feeling a fire at your root chakra. It's that love that you're pulling out from Mother Gaia. And now start pulling the love from the heavens with your crown chakra from the higher dimensions. Yeah, you can imagine your soul above you or Milky Way galaxy above you or source above your source of everything. That's of course a difficult visualization for most of you. So I suggest Milky Way Galaxy. It's a wonderful representation for us in a physical form here. Just pull the love in. And of course we ask Source and the Angels, all the beings of love and light, to help us clear the crown chakra, yes or the chakras from all the different levels to remove any resistances, any trauma, any black magic. Just keep on pulling that loving. I have to talk. Smile like an idiot, keep breathing. Make sure you hear your breath. Mm -hmm. Keep your mouth closed, otherwise you divert she, mm -hmm. unless you know the stuff. Uh. Mm. Mm. Start pulling the love from Mother Earth as well as from the heavens simultaneously into your heart. So you suck on both sides. Give it all you got. Just don't do this on the public bathroom, right? Now you probably have enough love accumulated here. And now imagine that you open a portal there. It's kind of like Deep Space Nine, but you just visualize this opening up into a wormhole and we ask that this wormhole connects us straight to source, to the this source, to the love of source, punching throughout all the dimensions, just cutting through the red tape, right straight to source, the mercy road, so to say. Just so now, Mm -hmm. Yeah, pump that love up on the inhale, just bring that love from source, you know, from the highest dimensions, from the most refined to the surface. Just mm. 
Just focus on bringing it out. Mm, smile, smile. Don't embarrass me here in front of sauce. Keep on breathing. So now while you're sucking the source love in, start spray painting the inside of your body like as if you <laughs> a little chocolate bunny. You know that get just have that chocolate coating. So just ah, suck the love from source and Spray paint the inside of your body. Is that love? Bring it where it hurts the most. And just focus. Make sure you hear the air flowing. Mm. 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 Spray paint your feet from the inside. Spray paint your knees. Hmm. How about your lower back? You have lower back pain, huh? Just send it there. Absolute source has your back. Hmm. And now just on the inhale, just blast it into your shoulders and you know, blast all that false responsibility that we have put onto ourselves. The burdens of the world. The responsibility for our siblings and our parents. And, you know, I mean, whatever is fair is fair, but I said unnecessary responsibility. We are you know, the burden that we can give up to source. To bring us the most auspicious future. Mm. Surprise us, <laughs> source. With the most auspicious future. Mm. Mm. Focus on that inhale. You can moan when you let go, that helps a lot. As I said, don't do this in the public bathroom. Or porta potty. Maybe even park bench. Right. Now let's light up our pineal gland, that's inside, 
the middle of the brain. So just from source the, to that wormhole, light suck it right into the pineal gland, mm -hmm, right into the center. You know, splattered all over the brain, but and keep on smiling. You know, don't embarrass me in front of source. Smiling like an idiot is the standard. You know, compared to source, we just completely bumbling idiots. But loving idiots, hopefully. Hmm. So pull it from source into your head. is keep on breathing um, this you know you pull it from source right into the angel wing so you just blow it to the back you know as imagine that the portal is facing backwards so when you pull it up it just squirts into the back and you will get that feeling as if you're having angel wings behind you it's a weird feeling it's an awesome feeling so try it out so portal to the back. Ooh, it tickles. Because we asked us, we are guides and the angels of love and light and source to clear any resistances in our back, in our chakras, any resistances towards love and light of source, any blocks in the you know beautiful chi flow of our bodies. Please do amen, amen, amen. And uh, maybe some of you are lightheaded now. Uh, not a problem. I mean, some people pay a lot of money. Did you get drugs that gives them this? But okay, some always have to complain. So if you don't like it, and of course I'm joking here, um, but uh, this will help. So just imagine on the inhale, just pull out all this energy into the center of your spine. And in your spine, you're having this thing like a lightsaber, like <laughs> just pull it into this lightsaber in your spine mm -hmm. from all sides. Just hold your breath for a second on the inhale and just hold it there and observe your force field. You're still lightheaded. Feels pretty good, huh? Okay, now back to breathing here. Don't be lazy. So now we bring in this on the inhale, source, love, and just squirt it into like a golden egg that surrounds us. This completely surrounds us everywhere. It's like your inner sanctuary. It's a wonderful thing. Um, you carry your own atmosphere 
around with you. But uh, come on, keep breathing here. It's like spray paint all around you. And of course, this golden axe is here in the sanctuary. It completely protects you. We asked this from source to make this a perfect cocoon for us. And I know you mostly are paying your attention to forward, so squirt it to the back. Make sure you squirt plenty to the back. Maybe turn that wormhole, that portal around. And now just squirt it all around. Maybe have that special portal that <laughs> directs it into all directions, like a disco ball portal. Yeah, a new thing here. Oh uh, yeah. A disco ball portal is where it's at. Alright, so by now you should have a really nice gold neck. Please keep on breathing. Uh, deep breathing, you want to hear the air flowing through your nostril. And now, in honor of the rebirthing movement, and also Leonard of... Uh, I don't know how I get this all mixed up. They were both parties um, agree that the biggest trauma in most people's life is their birth trauma. So I got stuck for eight hours. Um, oxygen deprivation I came out blue uh, I probably would have been smart if it just been easy but here we go you know that's what you got now and uh, <coughs> and then you know both of them I think found out that in teenage time those people that had heavy birth trauma uh, get manically depressive or bipolar as it's called nowadays I had a client that had 30 hours worth of birth and which, of course, uh, that poor guy was completely manic depressive. Yeah, and so just keep on breathing. <laughs> We're going to be changing this here now. Mm -hmm. So on the, just imagine on your mommy giving birth, you know, pressing through in your little squirt. Um, just uh, have a hard time you get compressed suddenly um, it's very very claustrophobic very very claustrophobic and you don't know what's going on and mama is in pain mm -hmm. and screaming maybe you know it's not a good scene maybe daddy is also all flipped out so if you're empathic mm -hmm. so yeah we need blessings for this scene mm -hmm. so inhale Source love and have that portal just squirting right, right into the mom and dad. You know, just spray paint them this beautiful, beautiful egg so uh, that transmutes all that pain into them, from them. Just. smile like an idiot blast him he said sauce tell the baby it's gonna be okay you survive
and smile like an eagle. So you can transmit that source love. Chill out the mind. Focus on the inhale. All the way in. You wouldn't get a glass or cup of air in there if I gave you 10 bucks that much. Just blast them. Hmm. And maybe fast forward to the moment where the baby comes out. And surround that baby with this bubble of love. And let it know, these barbarians, they're going to cut the umbilical cord, umbilical cord, umbilical cord, sorry, not biblical. Um, prematurely. And also smack it on the butt, and make you cry, so and then take you away from mama and, and measure you. So that's how they do this. It's You are still loved, especially from your parents. And so keep on breathing this aura of protection around them so no ghost can attach to this, that this baby is not feeling abandoned. I'm just talking to you. Just keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. This is yourself in the past. Be loyal to yourself. You are sent this little squirt that love mm -hmm. yeah just keep breathing this love squirt that soul's love into it mm -hmm. stay with it till the mama till it's with the mommy again in, in the nursing mm -hmm. and then squirt them both with this soul's love and protect them with this beautiful aura of love give them this powerful egg of love mm -hmm. So no ghost or no negative energies from the hospital can get to this. And we ask the angels of Archangel Michael to please protect them also and keep any negative energies and ghosts away from them throughout time. Now, Amen, Amen, Amen. Keep on breathing. That makes it super sweet. For the exhausted man. And the exhausted baby. Of course, you can do this for hours and hours, and if you have depression, um, and this was the root cause of your depression, it should transform pretty fast. Now keep on breathing. Now we're going to have a different pattern. Mm -hmm. So on the inhale, you know, still pull that love from source to the world more into your reality. Uh, but then when you, know, you don't focus on the actual, when the actual happens, your love goes back to source. You have gratitude. You know, this gratitude, this tenderness, this appreciation. You're playing yo-yo, yo-yo love through the portal. Just maintain this pattern while I'm speaking. Now, when this love goes back to source from your side, think swaha. 
like swan and ha ha, swan and ha ha, like swaha, swaha. Just think it. Don't pronounce it in your mouth. No, your mouth is for smiling. You know, your breath is for the chi, and your mind is for thinking swaha when you send it to thoughts or when it goes to thoughts, and see what happens. See what happens when you do it. It's a syllable for offering, according to the Vedas. And it really works for me, at least. Try it out for yourself. Now, of course, don't give your power away to Wolfgang. Now do several breaths to source without swaha and see how that compares to the swaha breaths. And then do the swaha again. But now just go back and forth with source, wherever way is easiest for you, and pay attention to the intent, so you really know what you're agreeing to. And of course, again, we ask that whatever we're intending here is going to manifest for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. So do you say your Amen now? Mm -hmm. So dear source, I mean source of everything, the source, nothing above and beyond, absolute supreme being, dear source, please release all trauma, attachments, hooks, devices, chains, and other forms of binding and limitation like rings, plates, Spikes, spells, curses, contracts, promises, vows, cages, containers, booby traps, structures, geometries, entities, thought forms and technologies that keep aspects of our bodies, mind and spirit complex trapped in the astral or any other dimension and escort them into the highest, most appropriate heavens. Please also include our ancestors and also liberate all those beings that my parallel selves or ancestors have trapped similarly, as long as they forgive and as long as it is for the highest good in divine harmony with the most mundane outcomes. Um, and also, please do so across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all solar systems, all dimensions and the void and clear any other baggage that keeps us down. Basically, clean any resistances between us and Vaikuntha. You Hindus may know what that means. Amen, Amen, Amen. And then it takes your head start to kick in. Mm -hmm. And just smile. And if you're still breathing, yeah, now it's a good time to stop breathing and just, you know, go mellow. Have a very tender breath relationship with source of the wormhole back and forth. Call it yo-yo love. Well, I call it actually running love with source. If you watch my other meditations, running love. It's like... You know, bringing love from here to there and from there to this.
from here to there, from there to this. This running love. Now we thank all those beings that came and assisted us and that protected us. And we ask that any aspects from other people or any energies that are still stuck between the dimensions of, or on the astral plane or stuck to us to our force field that shouldn't be there please be sent to a place where they can serve the su supreme creator in the most auspicious way Amen. and also be happy Amen. We also ask that all the aspects of our subtle bodies, of our mind, body, mind and spirit complex be updated now to the latest divine blueprints. Amen, amen, amen. And while this is happening, also please return to us any aspects of our soul that can return to us now for the most auspicious timeline. Amen, amen, amen. And smile, smile, smile. And Energy is gonna, uh, yeah, coming in now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, please, dear spirit guides, align all our subtle bodies to most optimal levels and then charge them up once aligned to optimal levels and then seal those energies so they cannot be stolen or contaminated by the service to self sight. Amen, amen, amen. Lock this in. Yes. And then surround each of us this is powerful aura of love and light that can only be penetrated with love and light. And do the same thing for our twin flames too. Amen, amen, amen. Whatever you ask, please do for our twin flames as long as it is for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes and as long as we have the authority to request something like this that does not violate free will. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now, um, please, um, lock this in, yes, and one, two, three, you're completely grounded now and back in vacant day consciousness. So, this was uh, quite a clearing here, I hope you're buzzing. <laughs> Um, yeah, quite a quite a thing. Um, I'm not sure how long this was. Um, I lost track of time. Um, I used to do this for hours. Yeah, it takes stamina, but it's it's good for you. It is so good for you. Um, yeah. So <laughs> you might teach yourself to a private Skype session with me and cut right to the chase. You know, it's treat yourself. Do be good to yourself. So my prices are very, very reasonable. And uh, just send me an email and I will give you uh, all the information that you need. So if you responded well to this guided meditation, um, please you know, do the cyber stuff and increase my ratings. Subscribe, you know, thumbs up, ring the bell, and tell your friends, leave comments, and of course, smile like an idiot, you know, and enjoy my other videos too. They're all a different facet about evolution, about ascension. And, you know, you're not wasting any time. There's a lot of information density in those. Anyhow, I love you a long time. Namaste.